people who have the Ion Armor all have Sonic Cannons. And then uh, a couple others, just sort of random. I didn't necessarily give it to the most accurate people, but um, just kind of threw it around here and there. But everybody's armed. We all have Sonic Rifles and Cannons. Some of us have armor. We all have Pulsers. Pretty good shape. Hopefully he's saying that doesn't bite me in the ass. And it's Aqua Toys. Or Mixed Crew. Oh boy. Okay, let's not shoot these civilians on accident, please. Kneeling aim shot. 88% chance. God damn it. I want to fire. Arno. Standing aim shot. 73%. God damn it. Check out these new guns. They're so accurate, he says. Loud bastards. Remember how many harpoon shots it took to take down one of them? We never even found out. I don't think I killed a single one of them, not even with explosives. Sonic Cannon's one hit. Boom. Done. Yeah, this could be an Akatoi Terror, which means I have to worry about molecular control. But I have... Jesus. <sighs> I have the MC line of sight on, so it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Still dangerous, though. Okay, yeah, this dude just having a heyday here, just... <sighs> Haymaker turn, Haymaker turns, Haymaker! <laughs> just laying waste to everybody. Or just bouncing a dodgeball off their heads, catching it, bouncing it off the next guy's head. Ugh, what a bully. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get people off the ship kind of here. We just, we don't all fit. Snapshot move. Okay, there's a lot of aliens. We'll handle it next turn. They almost blend in? <laughs> almost. I didn't want to move you. Sorry. It's to save your life. It's a misclick, I'm sorry. It had to be done though. <laughs> I feel kinda terrible doing that, but it's effective. How? No, really, how? How did you fuck up that thrill that badly? Genuinely, I'm curious. I'm not even mad. I'm fucking shocked. <laughs> that is amazingly bad. And was there somebody way up there? I don't know, should I try a second grenade? Do you still have 10 minutes to move? Yeah, okay, good. Out of range, yeah. Figured. Alright, just in case there's somebody like behind the tree or something that we're not saying, uh, I don't know. Calcinite still stands. Aha. Snapshot and move. Aim shot and move. Right in the jaw. And just in case some rogue explosion happens, Seeger, get the fuck on the ship. Oh god, you're heavy. <laughs> And, uh, I could do the medkit thing and get him back up. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. We are in kind of this corner, though. Hmm. Didn't really have a chance to check. 
Um, so this building will be the first objective once we actually get the landing zone clear-ish. Hard another door open to the right, uh, right up there. Oh, hi. Um... I think getting one of you fuckers live... Actually, I don't think I need... I don't think I need one live, to be honest, for the really fancy drills. You just need a dead one, uh, dead one right? I honestly don't remember. I think you just need a dead one. It's just, you can go for some amount of playthroughs without ever encountering them, though. Which makes getting the fancy drills somewhat rare, but really handy to get against the, uh... Assholes. Against the lobster men. Jeez. Fucking swarming the landing zone. Okay, well, I know where they are now. Nice. And then... Get another one set. For the lower floor. Nice, that should get him. That might not get him. And then the calcinite could be a problem. Okay, it's not. jammed in here now, huh? I'm afraid of him just opening the door and punching us. And then, because I don't think I've got you. Okay. And that's, that's us. Yeah, hills are kind of fucky because just the 3D explosions and all that, it was kind of on the corner here, so I wasn't sure if it would get him, would it wrap around, I don't know. Looks like no, though. Gotta hope that's prime for zero turns and not, like, 20. Get it. Oh, come on, that's the same. God damn it, Arno. We already proved that doesn't work. Hello? Uh. Okay. <laughs> sure. One of these days we'll leave the Triton. I feel like he ran like up and around or away or something, I don't know. Let's move on, shall we? Oh, now we see him. No, we see somebody else. Ugh, whatever. When I close that door, whatever. We have left the Triton. Yay! How do you see him? Don't get it. Okay, it's not good to it though. Is that the guy who ran off before? I don't know. And there's him. Right in the back. I 
really don't think you can hit him. I kind of want to try, but at the same time, it's a risky shot. Crouch because of the window. Is that him? He only shot once. Could be just him. No line of fire. A little bit of crossfire happening. Hi. Surprise fucker! 92% chance! Nice. Just make sure we're totally clear out here. Cause sometimes, yeah. You never know. This is the tile set, I guess. That's really difficult to navigate because you've got all the little hills everywhere and there's these little underground bunkers and the houses and I shouldn't put you there, Arno. I'm gonna move you back inside. You can hang out there next turn or something. I don't know. But there's just all these little nooks and crannies and underground areas and hey, they're panicking at least. And it's uh it's difficult to navigate and traverse and clear fully, but tickets slow. I know some of the more troublesome areas, so I know where to kinda look a little bit. Get these suits of armor out first, KPO. Oh yeah, getting you up on top. Just so I know. Okay. Kind of a risky spot, but you've got pretty decent vision here. You can pull off some pretty wild angles. strength, not like you could throw a grenade that far. KPO, can you see it? I think it's in, like, the entryway of one of those underground areas. So... Right over the head. But yeah, you can see it. Sajin, I think I'll probably just have you throw a grenade, but I guess we'll shoot at it, too. You're pretty accurate. Where is it? There it is. Hmm. Ah, it's only a calcinite. Okay. Nothing to worry about. They don't shoot. They only punch. Not even open XCOM change that. Some soldiers still panicking repeatedly. Nailed it. Maybe that's why you couldn't see the guy. You're right in front of a tree. Not enough time minutes for that snapshot. Nah, a little lot of fire. Okay. Squad leader's panicking now. That's good. So many hills. Okay. Sort of spread out as a giant wave. I can 
get you out. Hmm? Hi. Get you out. You can <laughs> kind of help see. I don't know. There's a bunch of leaves in the way. Uh, <laughs> but you and Cape, you'll be the, uh, the snipers. As well as Chrissy, to a degree. Ordinarily, if I had flying suits, I'd fly really high above the Triton. And that works really well. You just, because you can kneel in midair because I don't know how. And I just imagine you hold the gun really steady or something. I'm not really sure. But you get really super accurate from up there. So you have really good vision. And then, nice reaction. And then you can, uh, again, while kneeling and all that you'll have like 98 or 102 percent accuracy and just pick people off from really ridiculous angles really 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 super handy ah hi nice i'd like that i can do an aim shot and a snapshot from stationary Risky spot. We'll try it. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna slap us or something. Look out, mighty. Oh, what the? What the? Come on, don't make him dance. Just, just hit him. I was gonna say, if you survived a sonic cannon from a teammate in the back of the head... Wow. <laughs> but you didn't, okay. Well, you... Uh, it wasn't in the back of the head. But damn, if it was... <sighs> I suck at throwing so much. So bad. Thank you. So bad. And not power glove bad. I mean, like, actually bad. Like, appallingly terrible at throwing sometimes. I don't understand it. Oh, right. Um. Well. Getting down to the last little uh, squad here. Looks like Judith's pilot. Eh, maybe I won't use a pilot. I don't think I'll need one. I think we're going to be in pretty okay shape here. Especially what with the aliens panicking and all that. Ordinarily, it shows you where they are when they panic. But I think I know where he is. This is one of those shitty underground areas. Some of them are quite large. And aliens love to just hide there. Sometimes there will be a civilian there in the way. And an alien will be behind them, refusing to attack the civilian for some reason. And it's just, you have to wait for the civilian to move. Because obviously killing civilians is super bad for your points. And if you're doing a really good job, you don't really want to... Mm, ruin the score. You don't want to mar it, I guess. Uh... Probably a dude back there, or two, or something. Usually is. But vision's so wonky over there. Ugh. Take it. Ah, where am I? <laughs> Get you up here, scout. Uh-huh. That could have been one of the dudes who was running around naked. Could be a calcinate in here too. So I'm sending in some backup. It could also just be nothing in there too. Entirely possible, but uh, always prepare for the worst. Could be a dude with a grenade or a drill or something. 
The armor's good, but it's not that good. I mean, Krug did die after all. Take it slow. Fucking misclick. Again. in the way, tree in the way. It's weird, he's on the first floor because there's a little trenchy shitty hill, so Kimira can't see him. But, ugh, he's there. Take the shot with you or should I move? Oh. Maybe KPO can try. tried. Coco just at 24 strength. Who else do we got here? 30 strength. 37 strength. Oh, who am I kidding? We got fucking KPU up there. Just throw a grenade up to him. It's fine. So Coco Chestnut stand here. Dragonfly. Prime it. Throw it. Huh. You. Hit it with your hip. Right on up to Capio. Who uh, dives and slides for it. Ah, uh, just barely catches it. Rolls over on his back. Uh, wow, that's way off. <clears throat> but it's okay. I imagine he did it mid-dive. Pretty impressive nonetheless. Um. But shit. Now what? Gambit's got some pretty good arms. Judith? I don't think, I don't think Gambit can throw it that far. We can find out. Yeah, out of range. I don't care. Twelve. Damn. Okay. Hmm. Cause I could try this. Okay. I could try with Varathin. Snapshot. And okay, that's what I was afraid was gonna happen. You kind of have to hide in the tree. You gotta hide down here. Nobody else can see him to take a shot. We've tried the grenade. Mighty. Actually, Mighty could probably see him or throw a grenade. Or do a whole lot of things, actually. Let's go for a grenade if I can. I can't anymore. Okay. Kneeling aim shot. 82% chance. No line of fire. Sending snapshot, then. Jesus Christ. Who else did we got? You tried, you tried, you tried. Oddly enough, couldn't do it. Force it. Yeah, that hill's in the way. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, we got lucky. Okay. Cool. Good job, Mighty. Okay, what do we got in here? Anything? Nothing. Okay. Never know. Gotta check it, though. The terror mission that I had done, the, uh, the shipping route that I failed on the last time, because the entire ship got stunned. The second stage of that is really, really super infamous for having super annoying alien hiding spots everywhere. 
becomes a bit of a pain in the ass scouting through and trying to find where that last alien is. But I don't necessarily mind it. Oh, that was it. I don't necessarily mind it because it's usually just like one dude. And when you figure out where they are the first time, they're probably going to be there. Like they have designated spawn points, so to speak. So you sort of know where aliens get stuck and you know where to check them. But um, a really, really horribly shitty map, that second part of it, especially the beginning. God boxes everywhere and there's like a chain ceiling so there's a second story with more boxes so they can shoot down at you and hide and uh it's just it's all overall terrible but uh lost one it was krug though so it doesn't really count civilians were all killed got a bunch of stuff killed aliens corpses it was a pretty nice mission really really nice month buffer no complaints from me and should I go for another living quarters? I feel like I probably should. We're totally full up. I'd need more soldiers at some point. Eventually we'll get them here. Uh, rankings are given out based on soldiers across all bases. I don't think I'm going to go for 100 scientists. I'll need another workshop at some point. I think I do need a third living quarters. I think I do. Need a third living quarters. And I'll need a second workshop. So we'll do that. Month's well, basically over, so I don't mind spending the money because we're about to get more money. Minus 107, still okay, generally satisfied. Nice, we're within the threshold. Asian Coalition is particularly pleased, which is awesome. They've increased their funding, but the Egypt is unhappy and reduced. But Egypt doesn't give as much as Asia, so overall we got a net profit. Leaving me with a cool 2.3 million. So. So I have to build a transmission resolver, but I'll have to sell some stuff. I'm keeping rifles and cannons for now. Pistols, I'm just going to sell all but one. I'll even sell the ammo, I guess. Um, keeping those, god yes. Pulsers, the MC readers, don't need those. Thermic lands, keeping one. Corpses, so all but one. Deep ones, all but one. Gilman, all but one. Calcinites, all but one. Lobster man, keep. That's another 1.2 million. Mm hmm. Okay. And that'll leave me with enough money to pick up more technicians. The lab is full. I got the full 50. Yep. I can pick up more technicians and then build a transmission resolver. So. Yeah, I'll just wait. Yeah, I'll just wait. I considered trying to figure out what to build there, but I think I'll probably just leave it. I think Barracuda 2 is a double DUP head. Don't think we'll be able to catch this guy though. Oh, he came back. Boom! Massive damage. Yeah. I was gonna say, two of those at once, that's pretty fucking heavy. Uh, you can just return home. I don't need you. I was gonna have you beeline and try to cut him off because it looked like he was doing some fancy, uh, whatever. And that's a mission for us to do in the morning. Mmm. Krug's on the way, right? 50 hours? <laughs> Guess we'll head out now. We don't need him. 